what are the antennas that we use for mobile base stations and handsets? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What are the types of antennas that we use for mobile base stations and mobile handsets? Well, let's find out. So, before we dig deeper into the types of antennas that are used in mobile base stations and handsets, we need to know how these things work with each other. So, in a typical communication system, we all have a mobile handset. This is a mobile handset that we use nowadays. So, this can be used for a lot of things. This can be used for the purpose of making phone calls. This can be used for the purpose of accessing the internet and doing a lot of things. So. How can we do these with this particular handset? So for this, for doing this, we have to have this handset connected to a particular network. That is what we say that we have a full range or half range. The blocks that are present on top over here signifies the strength with which this phone is connected to a particular network. So therefore, in a typical communication system, there would be a particular handset like this. So this handset is a smartphone that we use and this smartphone must be connected to a base station or simply it must be connected to a particular antenna like this. So therefore, once this particular smartphone establishes a connection over here, once a connection is established, then we can do whatever we want to do with our smartphone. If you guys want to make a phone call, you can simply just make a phone call. Or if you guys want to access the internet, you can do it because now the smartphone is connected to this particular base station. So once the connection is established with this particular antenna, then this base station will help in accessing whatever files that we want to do with this particular smartphone. As simple as that. This is the basic idea behind how a wireless communication system works. We have a handset and a base station. So this is just the basic elemental idea. But when we take the real case into consideration, let us consider a particular area like this. So in a particular area like this, there would be a lot of handsets, a lot of number of mobile phones. So therefore, what we do is that such base stations are provided at equal intervals like this. So we will have such base stations like this and each base station would be having a coverage area like this. So each of these base stations would have a coverage area like this. But imagine a person is going to this particular area over here where there is no coverage area by either of these base stations. That is when we say that we are out of range. When we are in out of range, we can't use our mobile phones to perform any operations. So if you guys have visited hill stations or mountainous regions, when we look into our smartphones, we won't have a signal in our smartphone and we can't make a phone call, we can't access the internet. That is because it is out of the coverage area of this particular base station. So therefore, when we are out of coverage area, we cannot access or do anything with our handsets. So therefore, when a particular smartphone is within the coverage area of a particular base station, that is when we say that a smartphone is connected to this particular base station. So therefore, when a person moves from this place to this place, a smartphone will automatically get connected to this particular base station. Again, if he moves here, it will automatically get connected to this particular base station. So this is how a particular communication system works. So now, while we look into this, we can deduce what type of antennas can be used in the case of one, a base station, and in the case of a handset. So in the case of a base station, there are two types of antennas that we use. First one is a non-adaptive base station antenna and the other one is an adaptive base station antenna. So in the case of a non-adaptive base station antenna, the parameters are fixed. That is, we don't change the gain or the directivity or nothing is changed. So the parameters of a non-adaptive base station antenna are always fixed. But in the case of an adaptive base station antenna, the antenna keeps on adapting according to the physical conditions. That is, if it is rainy, it would increase the strength. And if it is a normal shiny day, it would just work as a normal antenna. 
so it keeps on adapting as per our requirement and that is the two types of basic antennas that we can use and now the one thing that we have to keep in our mind is that this particular base station antenna must be highly directive that is the intention of this base station antenna is to broadcast or is to connect the handsets within this particular area it is not required for this base station to connect to a smartphone that is in this area or here or here the sole intention of this particular base station is to connect to a smartphone or is to connect to a handset that is in this particular region so that is the sole purpose of a base station as simple as that next when we look into the case of a handset a handset is just this much it is very small it is something that we can fit inside our pockets so therefore being this small we can't integrate large or huge antennas onto this no that is not physically possible because this is something that must be mobile we have to be able to carry this with ease all the way so if you guys remember from back in the 90s a mobile phone would be those huge things that we that people would carry in their hands with the huge antennas but times have changed all we have to have is this even this phone is around 6 6 years old right now the smartphones are really advanced so for that we need to have very compact antennas that are fitted onto this so one type of such antenna can be a helical antenna or we can use a micro strip antenna or a patch antenna which are embedded into the circuit board inside this those are the type of antennas that are present in the case of handset as simple as that guys so this is as a basic idea behind what types of antennas are used in the case of handsets and base stations and this is the basic idea of how a typical communication system works as simple as that so i have written it down a base station antenna must be highly directive towards the required coverage area as effectively as possible so that classified into two types first one is the adaptive base station antenna and the second one is a non adaptive base station antenna so in the case of an adaptive base station antenna it continuously changes its parameters to improve the signal to noise ratio so it improves the signal to noise ratio of a single connection to improve the strength between the base station and that particular handset while minimizing the strength with other users so here this is achieved in both the downlink and the uplink connection both in the downlink as well as the uplink connection so here different types of adaptive base station antennas are switched beam antennas beam forming antennas and even adaptive array antennas so that is what you refer to as an adaptive base station antenna next is what we have as a non adaptive base station antenna which are antennas which will not change the parameters as per the requirements here the antenna parameters will not change as per the requirements of a particular system so here it has a typical gain of around 5 to 17 decibels the types of non adaptive base station antennas are dipoles a corner reflectors patch antenna arrays etc so here in the case of a non adaptive base station antenna in order to reduce multi path effect we used diversity techniques over here different types of diversity techniques are implemented here so that we can reduce the multi path effects that are seen here so these are the two types of base station antennas that are seen in the case of a typical communication system so next let us see what are the types of handset antennas that we use that is the types of antennas that are used in handsets so the antennas that are used for mobile handsets there are two types of antennas first are external antennas and the other one are the internal antennas so in the case of external antennas there are two types of antennas that we can use first one is a retractable monopole antennas which is also referred to as retractable vip antennas so these are types of antennas that we used to see in older phones where we used to retract the antennas out so here an antenna that we can retract is what you refer to as a retractable monopole antenna it is also known as a retractable vip antennas its typical length of vip is around lambda by 4 or 3 lambda by 8 that is what you refer to as a retractable monopole antenna next we have simply what we refer to as a normal mode helical antenna so they are used for the purpose of obtaining circular polarization here a dual band operation is obtained by using 
two different pitch angles of a particular helix. So these are the types of external antennas. Now we have the type of internal antennas. So the first type of internal antenna is a planar antenna. It is usually just a lambda by 4 micro strip that is mounted on the conducting chassis of the handset. That is in the particular handset if this is a conducting chassis it is just mounted over there. So that is a planar antenna. Next is a chip antenna which is a very small antenna that is mounted inside the circuit board of your phone. As simple as that. So these are the different types of antennas that we use in the case of a mobile handset. As simple as that. So this thus sums up what the different types of antennas are used in the case of a base station as well as a mobile handset. As simple as that. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what the different types of antennas that I use in the case of handsets and base stations. And if you guys found this video informative, do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.